Well, good morning and welcome everybody to CCTV Night Watchmen. What I'm showing here today is, it's an older video that I didn't realize had so much in it. It's um, last year, 514. So it's right around the same time we're at right now. And what I want you to pay attention to is the shadows on the water and the shadows in the sky. And I do do a little bit of CGI planet over the areas I'm talking about, or I'm showing you. So pay attention to the shadows on the water, shadows in the sky on the right and left. And this is time lapse, pretty heavy. Hopefully it comes out good without splotching or skipping. Um, and I want you just to pay attention to my little signs, all right? You'll get it. And then comment, that would always help. And share and like, subscribe if you haven't, okay? Enjoy. This is about eight, nine minutes, about nine and a half minutes. See you at the end. Now notice I called this um, also Atu and Atu's Moon simply because I use one of uh, Samuel Hoffman's models of the sun pinching. So watch this in time lapse. As it pinches, I'm going to point some stuff out. Okay, so eyes up, pay attention. It's going to adjust your eyes as you watch it. And these videos, watch them in a darker room. You get more out of them. Okay. So no matter what what angle these planets come in, you know, are two back to back or is them, it could be either of these combinations, but these planets move around. They're in a retro orbit, which is oblate, oblong, and uh, they don't hold the round orbit like our, our area does. Now here, these are the two planets that I see shadows of. Now remember, if these were this close, we'd all die, right? That's what everybody says. But they're not this close. They're just the shadows that are out by the sun. Now, um, if you notice the shadows on the clouds, where the darker objects are. Now, see, that's without any CGI. And you can clearly see the darker blue. Um, look at the clouds. Look at the clouds. I mean, look at the, the shadows on the clouds on the right. And then look to the left. There's a total shadow reflecting the blue purplish blue anyways uh, just keep watching now look at the Sun and think of like if you're outside at nighttime and you had a flashlight and by the time the beam hits the ground it's a lot larger right well this is what I'm seeing in this Sun it's almost like a flashlight flashing down it, the Sun covers the whole sky it don't cover just the middle area real bright like a flashlight on a sidewalk at night right just picture that in your mind now on the right and left you see that dark blues those are planets but they're planets real close to the Sun okay and what they're doing is is obfuscating right and left now right here you see this box thing right in front of this pinch I'm gonna show it to you again a little bit darker and it could be you know the Texas cube um, <laughs> the one thing in the middle to me looks angelic flying over but that's just my imagination I think but look at the CGI now cover up the area look at the darker clouds look at the brighter clouds in the middle and look at like the flashlight effect. The sky don't act like that. 
It's just the blue skies just don't act darker blue when the sun is spread out across the whole earth. Make sense? And there was the cam just shut down so I had to go recapture what I was watching to see if I lost anything on the on the time-lapse you know videoing recording this as you can see on the bottom there uh, there's this there's the pinch and then it gets dark so I actually think what I missed was the whole planet going over um, but you know I have no way of telling so let me go back to what I was watching you see how it's dark gray up in the right hand corner and it's got that shadow even on the sunlight it's just weird right um well i think what was happening was the planet was also starting to come down and that's when they shut the feed so keep watching thanks for watching this far and remember just to subscribe hit that like button and share 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 Now also remember that I'm not saying this is exactly Atu and Atu's moon. I just used that clip so I didn't want to confuse you. But it could be Nepicity, it could be on the right Nibiru, which I think so more. And on the left that could be, um, it's really dark blue, so I'm saying Atu. Just coming in. Now Atu's moon uh, might be coming up. I don't know, we lost part of the clip so we don't ever know that. But it's still a pretty good capture. I didn't know nothing about Samuel Hoffman when I took this. Um, but I start going back to some of my old footage that's real clear. And I see a lot of Samuel Hoffman stuff. And I think I was uh, unconsciously seeing it before I learned it. You know what I mean? Unconsciously knowing something. Just osmosis, I just knew it. You know, but my mind didn't know it, my eyes knew. You got that? Okay, I'll talk to you in the next film.